guys and welcome back to the channel again and today we have some important information on solar panels and lead acid batteries for your boat so stay tuned for the information and here we go all right hello everyone we're here at the boat uh, with a little update and uh, information on the solar system that we have on the boat the um, charger and the batteries are right there and uh, this week we had uh, our batteries go down to about 30 something percent each of them and I couldn't understand why because we had the solar panel hitting it all the time and uh, what happened is we had to get the water jug and refill all the cells on the battery because some of the cells were really really low on on the uh, water so one of the things you have to do if you have a solar panel on your boat uh, charging your batteries all the time you have to check the water inside each cell to make sure that uh, there's always water uh, or at least the water level is in the um, minimum position so that's something really important that everyone should know and it's the only problem I've had so far is that problem with the water so that's why I bought that jug there you get that at the, any auto parts and, um, and and check that so now from now on I'll be checking the water level on each battery every three to four weeks the last time I checked it, it was like about four or five months ago and that was way too much so if you have the solar panel charging batteries check that water level at least every three to four weeks and you should be fine after I put the water in there the battery levels starting going back up again from 30 something now we're at the 80 something so uh, everything's coming back up and it looks normal again but uh, be sure to check that because you could end up damaging the batteries and then you would have to replace them all right that's a tip uh, for the solar panel so hope this helps and um, just check those batteries three to four weeks all right thank you for watching and peace when filling your battery always use distilled water do not use tap water after filling your battery make sure that you clean the top of the battery with a rag from dirt debris or dust make sure all your cables on your battery is completely tight and not loose and always use eye protection and gloves you'll be dealing with acid all right so after about checking every two to three weeks my water level on the batteries I've noticed that uh, we don't have to check them that often now that's in my particular case you may have to be checking on yours to see if it's different or not but um, in my case I've noticed that we can check it every two months now if you go way over two months four five months you're gonna have a problem like I did originally uh, but so don't let it go that far I, what I did is I tested for three to four weeks and I did that several times until I noticed that um, there was no loss of uh, fluids during that time so I could take it all the way up to two months now so every two months I have to go in take the cap off check the fluids make, make sure all the cells are filled and I do that now every two months instead of two to three weeks so but you must check on your case it depends on the heat you have there how much you're charging the batteries and, and all that so you may have to do the same thing you do it every one or two three weeks and if you notice that it's there's no difference then you may go a little a little further and uh, do it every month month and a half until you get the right number for us it's about two months so every two months all I have to do is just put a little tiny bit that it's, it'll be missing. Other, other than that, everything is perfect. And I hope this information helps you to avoid uh, damaging a battery and the future. So thank you so much for watching and peace. Now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button below 
and you'll be part of the Keys Voting Channel family. Thank you so much for your support.